Hey Dietrich Labs, Sam here. So in this video, uh, I figured I would uh, show you uh, a little science experiment that I did a while ago. A while ago I purchased two ounces of pure caffeine from a chemical supplier and I dissolved it in water and let some of the water evaporate. Uh, quite a lot of the water and then I poured, it, uh, poured the rest out uh, in order to keep uh, the crystals that formed pretty because sometimes they get all crusty when you let it evaporate completely. But what was really interesting is the way or the, the shape of the caffeine crystals. Uh, the caffeine crystals were not like big and bulky. They were long and spindly and somewhat flexible. They're, they're really quite thin. They're like little spikes. And in one of the containers, they form this sort of ball-like cluster. So a ball-like cluster of sort of, well, pure caffeine spikes sticking out. It, it looks really cool, so I figured I'd uh, take a, a moment to show you uh, how they turned out. Okay, so here are the two containers. This one is the, the one I'm focusing on right now. Th these are the two containers that I have. The one I'm focusing on right now is by far the bigger one, but I think the crystals are actually a little less nice, or uh, less high quality. The um, crystals in the other container, I think, are a little bit prettier, but uh, these are still cool. I'm going to try and film in a way that really shows them off. I don't know if I'll be able to get a really good shot here. see. Ooh, that's actually beautiful. Okay, so it's basically a fish bowl, except with gorgeous caffeine crystals growing in it. I normally keep something over the top to keep the dust out, but that is some beautiful caffeine, almost like spiky foliage. It's really cool. Okay, let's try filming it from the top. It's not as pretty from that angle. Yeah, let's film it a little more from the side. That's where it really looks cool. It shows off the shape nicely. See if I can get it to focus more ideally. It's hard to know where to get it to focus. Okay, so that's that container. Now I said that there was one container where uh, the crystals sort of uh, shot out from like a cluster. Well this is that container. I don't know if you can see it very well. But, yeah, look at that. Those are beautiful caffeine crystals. And this is the caffeine that you have in your coffee and tea. In caffeinated beverages, this is exactly that molecule, except this is in pure form, and it's been grown into these big crystals. So to think that stuff that makes you hyper and wakes you up in the morning when you drink coffee and caffeinated tea and uh, soda with caffeine in it, is actually a white solid that grows fantastic crystals. The famous caffeine it forms crystals like that. It's really cool. Anyway, I thought that was kind of a cool little experiment that I'd done a while ago and that it was worth uh, sharing with you. So, you know, it's not a terribly long video, not a terribly mathematical video, but you know, it's, it's uh, a neat little experiment. Uh, Dietrich out.